Well, hey guys, what's up? What is going on out there today? Brent Abel here, webtennis.com. Another episode of What's the Right Shot. So, when we're returning, second serve. What ideally we like to do, especially, and it doesn't matter if it's serve and volley or a guy who serves and stayed back, but if a guy serves and volleys, your whole goal is not to hit the winner. Your whole goal is to deliver your return back cross court. And this is assuming, and a lot of guys are not going to poach, right? Servers, partners, a lot of the times don't poach off that second serve, especially against a pretty good returner as Bruce Nichols is here. But if you're Bruce, your whole goal here is to get this thing cross court, not hit a winner, just get it down right there at the guy's feet and put it in front of your partner, right? And let your partner have an opportunity to do something here as you move in, right? So (laughs) a couple of things, and I want to kind of talk about technique on this forehand return. You know me, you know, if you've been spending any time with me at all, you know that I just really value simplicity in stroke technique. Number one, because you can be so much more consistent with it, right? The more complicated you've got stroke technique, especially on all the talk with the forehand, oh, you got to top it, you got to do this, you got to do that. Well, I'm telling you right here, if you can keep your, your swing prep, your racket prep, this clean, this simple, you're rarely, if ever, going to miss a return, assuming that you've created the right spacing away from the path of that incoming ball, as Bruce has done, right? He's had to step out of the way a little bit on this, right? So he moves forward, recognizes, all right, it's to my right, slightly at me. I got to get a little space away from it. Does that with the left foot. But now he's not going to be jammed on this, right? So if he wanted to, he's got shot choices. But if you look at the racket prep, I'm telling you, this is all you need. You don't need a crazy grip. You don't need a crazy swing setup. And you don't need a crazy swing shape. You just need to deliver the racket against the ball as you move in, right? You're not going to stand here and just play it and just hang out right here in this part of the court. You're actually going to move forward and make the degree of difficulty of this guy's have volley, the server's have volley, even tougher because they know they can't pop this thing up, right? Um, So that's kind of the returner's responsibility. If you are the returner's partner, the last thing you're going to do is you're going to hang out right here in the service line. You're maybe going to take a peek at that at that server's partner, especially if they're an active poacher. Uh, but once you see that they're stationary, man, your job is you got you got to crash the boards. You just got to get in. And even if it goes back to the returner, now what you've done with your core positioning is you've made this you've made this have volley that much more difficult. All right, so there's a lot to digest there right? Whether you're the returner or whether you're the returner's partner. And obviously, Chris Bennett here, the returner's partner, looking at Bruce, just probably, he probably didn't say anything because Chris is a kind of an understated guy, but we all know he's looking at him going, baby, I love it. I love you. Way to go. Let's play this in real time and let's see what we got here. Um, All right, here we go. That's that's just as simple and clean. And, you know, this is from a guy who actually won a couple of ATP doubles titles way back in the day. He's now playing some Masters events. But you can see why. That at the pro level, that you've got to keep things simple, right? You can't be crazy complicated. And so with him being this good at one point in his career... This is like just taking candy from a baby right here. So anyway, that's what the copy and model uh, for you guys when you return and serve in doubles, especially off that second serve. All right, look, any questions, let me know down below. 
Uh, love to read your comments, your questions, your feedback, remarks, and respond to them. And then watch this video to uh, all, all the way to the end because uh, I've actually got a little complimentary uh, video that I want to get to you. Guys, thanks for hanging out today. As always, get out there. Help someone else. Have a spectacular day. Okay, guys, really hope you enjoyed today's episode of What's the Right Shot. You know, the number one key to confidence when you're playing singles and or doubles is that you've got to have clarity. You've got to have non-emotional clarity in between points. When you do that, when you've got that type of clarity in between points, it has a residual effect when you're playing the actual point itself. The way to get it is through my I've got a four-part between points routine that has really helped me get that kind of non-emotional clarity that equates to confidence when you're playing the point. The way to get that video, I put together a video that will describe each one of those four parts of between points, about a nine-minute video. Uh, right down below, uh, you can click the link to webtennis.com. Go on over there, get signed up, just drop in the first name and an email address and you'll be all set to go. Again, it's a free video and uh, any questions, let me know, brent at webtennis.com.